Back in 2016, around 23 million people were reportedly using the train system every day in India. And in the near future, that number could increase significantly more. The Asian country is set to revamp their system with bullet trains from Japan, an underwater tunnel, and perhaps another train tunnel linking India to the UAE. Today, we're going to examine all three of these. We'll see how far along the various projects are. We'll explore how they're being created, as well as see just how valuable they are. As a teaser, some of them are worth billions of dollars. So let's get started. Back in 2015, news broke that India was looking to create a new high-speed track at 508 kilometers, nearly 316 miles long. It would link the cities of Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Currently, the train to get between these two areas takes nearly eight hours. Well, this new track is set to use the iconic bullet trains to reduce that time to between just two to three hours. It was reported in 2016 that the line will even feature an underwater tunnel for the bullet trains. The 21-kilometer or 13-mile-long tunnel will be located in the sea between Thane Creek and Veer. At the time of the original announcement in 2015, the whole project was estimated to cost $14.6 billion. In order to help fund the endeavor, the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, reportedly provided an $8.1 billion loan. At the time, India and Japan were in talks to disperse around 100 billion yen a year, around $908 million, over the following decades. The track won't just be helpful in commuting, it's also said to be using eco-friendly measures. The stations will use solar panels, tech to harvest rainwater, and wastewater treatment plants. Even the equipment used to construct the stations and track will be environmentally friendly. The bullet trains will also incorporate the green mission by using natural light provisions and ventilation. The reduction in time spent on the train will be due to the 320 kilometers an hour, around 199 miles per hour speed the bullet trains will be capable of. In 2019, India reportedly received the first 18 E5 series bullet trains from Japan. According to sources, the cost of these locomotives amounted to $964 million. Construction on the tracks and stations was originally expected to be completed by 2023. However, they ran into problems. Per the agreement, civil work on the tracks could only begin once 80% of the land required was obtained by the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited. Up until February 2021, it was reported only 23% of the land had been acquired. So, in order to calculate all of the appropriate costs, the completion year has now been extended to 2028. For a long time, the Indian authorities were looking for an efficient way to connect the cities of Calcutta and Howrah. While they did have the Howrah Bridge, it could take up to an hour to get across while a ferry across the Hooghly River could take 20 minutes. So they decided to create a 16-kilometer, nearly 10-mile, long metro track to reduce the traveling time. This track will also include the underground east-west metro tunnel, which will be 10.8 kilometers, or 6.7 miles long, while the portion under the river will amount to 520 meters, or around 1,706 feet, slashing the travel time across the river two minutes. It'll be the first underwater tunnel in India. Construction on the project began in 2015, whilst the underground tunnel began having its holes bored during 2017. The underwater tunnel is 30 meters, around 98 feet, under the riverbed. The underwater tunnel structure will be reinforced by layers of concrete segments to protect it from the power of the river. The concrete contains fly ash and micro silica to fight off any possible chance of leakage. However, the contractors did run into a couple of problems when creating the tunnel. Firstly, the current worldwide situation caused delays, of course. But in August 2019, an aquifer reportedly burst when one of the boring machines tore through it. The machine was destroyed in the chaos, and it also caused serious damage to numerous buildings in the area, some of which collapsed. This incident affected hundreds of residents who had to evacuate the area. It wouldn't be until February 2020 when work resumed on the tunnel. The full line is now expected to be up and running by March 2022. It's expected that by 2035, the line will carry 1 million passengers per day. The whole project will reportedly cost around $1.17 billion. 
The JICA will also have provided a soft loan for India to go towards the line's creation. They've put forward around 41.6 billion rupees, nearly 560 million dollars. On top of getting various cities in their own country efficiently connected, India has even had a proposal to have a tunnel linked to the United Arab Emirates. But not just any tunnel, it would be a floating tunnel that stretches the ocean. This train corridor would connect India's Mumbai to the UAE's Fujaira, a distance of 1,826 kilometers or 1,135 miles. Currently, if leaving Mumbai, it takes around nine and a half hours to get to Fujairah after getting a plane to Dubai and a bus from there. According to some reports, this tunnel would cut the commute time in half to around four hours, although the UAE claimed the bullet trains used in this concept would be able to reach 1,000 kilometers per hour, reducing the time even further. This speed could be achieved by creating a vacuum within the tunnel. This idea for the tunnel was first published in 2018. At the time, Abdullah al Shehi, who is the managing director, chief consultant, and founder of the National Advisory Bureau Limited, was at the UAE India Conclave in Abu Dhabi. He disclosed the concept at the event. There are even future plans of adding other cities, such as Pakistan's Karachi and Oman's Muscat, into the track. The main reason for the subsea rail line would be for trade. The tunnels will be connected to water and oil pipelines, whilst other goods can be placed on the high speed trains. In April 2020, India decided to top up the crude oil reserves by purchasing 1 million barrels from the UAE, the cost of which amounted to an estimated $32 million. Whilst in return during 2019 to 2020, India exported 35,510 liters of water to the desert-covered region. But the trains could also ferry tourists and workers between the countries. To get an idea on how much the UAE and India joint venture could cost, as a very rough estimate, let's examine the idea that Norway had in 2019. They wanted to link the cities of Trondheim in the north to Kristiansand in the south via a series of rock tunnels, floating sea tunnels, roads, and bridges for cars to journey on. Currently, the journey takes around 21 hours, including seven trips on board ferries. This plan could cut that journey in half. Altogether, the work would cover around 1,100 kilometers, or 684 miles. The cost is estimated to be $40 billion. Final fact finish! One of the most expensive train tours in the world is the Winter Wonderland Trans-Siberian Express with Golden Eagle luxury trains. Starting in the Russian city of Vladivostok, the 22-day journey will visit numerous cities in Russia and Mongolia before it finishes in Moscow. The ticket staying in the Imperial Suite comes to $129,295. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.